Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like me or my videos. My name is Nicole, and in the channel I talk about anything that has to do with smelling good. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, thanks for being here. I really appreciate all the support. So anyway, so in this video, I have 10 body mist for Bath and Body Works and 10 for Victoria's Secret and then I have three like honorable mentions these are my top 20 body mist that I will oh, like for 2021 that I reach for the most so I'm gonna start off with the three honorable mentions because um, there's only three so might as well get them out of the way so they are all from the same brand or whatever they are from Miss Ariana Grande yes girl this one in the middle is botched i took the label off but either way these are my three honorable mentions i have cloud it is so pretty it is like a little bit cologne -y, a little bit sweet and it's just really pretty i really love this scent so much it has like a sweetness to it once it dries down so I really like this and of course all of these in her body mist come in perfumes but just forget about the perfume we're only talking about body mist here so these I really like and then the other one is thank you next the first original one it smells so delicious it's cozy it's just so warm like to wear i love this i reach for this so so much and then i have the sweet like candy again a very everyday sweet gorgeous scent i absolutely adore and i definitely need to get these in the perfumes i have not gotten them but so now i'm gonna put timestamps in the comments just in case you don't care about victoria or you don't care about bath you came for a specific one i will leave the timestamps in the comments so you can just see whatever you want so i'm gonna start off with um bath and body works so for bath and body works i have at the beach gorgeous summery fragrance um so I really, really enjoy, if you are not new to my channel, you already know that I absolutely love At The Beach. It is just beautiful, breezy, fresh, summer vibes. Definitely this is going to finish um, these coming days because we're starting to get more warmer weather. So I'm definitely going to get a good use out of this. Very, very beautiful coconut scent, so love that. Next up we have Fairy Tale picked up i believe in the winter time and again oh, it smells so good it's like a little bit of sweetness a little bit of floral um it has a pomegranate orange blossom vanilla beam and warm amber and all of the scents just smell so so pretty it smells like a perfume to be honest it's very very lovely i love this i feel like this is gonna be perfect for um spring although it's not spring i have been wearing it so you know um it's just really really pretty you know sometimes i do like to coordinate my scents with the uh, weathers with weather and stuff like that but sometimes i don't mind if i just want to wear it i'm gonna wear it another one that i'm obsessed with girl is into the night look at the packaging gorgeous gorgeous love it love it so much so into the night uh, into the night smells really really pretty it smells to me like a sweet wine i always say that for whenever i'm talking about this but it has raspberry noir amber crystals velvet rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk and all of them again they just work so pretty you know i have other body mists but none of them compare to these and these are the ones that I just know that I would repurchase in a heartbeat like over and over again. If you want to wear something like it's it's sweet and a little bit juicy and it's just so good. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's so pretty. I definitely recommend this one for you. It's so, so good. My next one is You're the One. Here she is in all her glory. You're the one has been my favorite since about two years now. Oh yeah, and I also label all of my, um, I wanted to show that off because I did that. It took me forever, but I label all my little caps so that when I pick them up, it's easy to see which one's which, if you can see that. Look at that, all of my body mist, well, at least for Bath & Body Works, have this. Um, yeah, I did that myself, but anyways. <laughs> it smells really good. This is a love, a hit or miss for some people. Some people say it's a little too strong, but I'm one of those people who loves it. It has white birch, velvet rose, and a drop of nectar, of strawberry nectar. 
a lot of people are put off by the rose note in here but i actually like it and i'm one of those people that like doesn't really like rose or mess with rose um as as an actual note but this smells really good. You get a little dash of hint of strawberry. Like very faint but it's still there. It smells really really good. It's one of the strongest Bonnie mist that you can wear by itself and still smell this. And if you layer it with the lotion and the perfume, you're good to go girl. So this is a very very nice beautiful perfumey body mist. Next is Sunshine Mimosa. I also forgot to say to not mind my nails. I tend to... I always do my nails but like i do them myself i'm literally in the midst of changing the color and everything like brand new so i have some busted nails so excuse the crusty nails but sunshine mimosa again a very beautiful bubbly sweet scent it is so pretty i had not smelled it and when i got this instantly fell in love again i haven't worn it this much i did get it last year but um i know i put it in here because i know that i'm gonna get a good use out of this in this weather i'm already wearing it i haven't like used it up that much it's still to the top because i'm still trying to wear my um my like christmas december scents so but this definitely like i can tell you that this is one of my top favorites and made it to the top favorites um that like i said it would repurchase it's such a really really pretty scent if you like fun bubbly scents this is definitely your go-to for spring summer it has champagne and fresh citrus and like i said um i love champagne and anything that has to do with scents because it just gives it like that happy burst of a sweet bubbly note to it my next one is pure wonder pure wonder is my baby she's my girl she's my best friend i love pure wonder some people were like not crazy about it but there's something in here that it just makes it so different from every body mess that bath and body bath and body works has i guess maybe it has like a perfume like quality to it that makes it like stand out i'm not sure but it's so pretty i think it's the eyes that it just gives it like that very fresh and cold type of scent i have the perfume of it the little one but this is super super nice it's very fresh and also sweet like it has uh, the best of both worlds my next one is snowflakes and cashmere love the packaging like i said i'm a sucker for this packaging i think it just looks super pretty like to display i just love like simple stuff like like you see how my cuadros in the back they're super like black white and then like, line artwork like i don't know like minimal stuff i don't know but this beautiful i love it anyways the scent Super, super pretty. Um, snowflakes and cashmere. Loved it in the winter time. Such a snuggly, sweet, warm type of scent. It does have caramel woods and frosted clementine. So I feel like that is what gives it that sweet aspect to it. I really like it for cold times, going to sleep, just smelling really nice and comforting. So next we have Dahlia. Miss Dahlia over here. I love Dahlia girl it's so delicious i feel like the whipped tonka bean gives the pear like it complements with the pear so so good it smells very yummy and sweet but also seductive like like it has everything that it needs to have for it to make a beautiful scent and i heard that they were gonna discontinue dahlia and i was like they better not they literally better not <laughs> but anyways yes dahlia beautiful scent then we have miss joy over here which is the sugared snickerdoodle one very yummy scent as soon as i smell this i fell in love with this it just smells like you're a sweet yummy warm cookie out of the oven and somebody's gonna want to eat you up or snuggle with you it literally has snickerdoodle spice creamy vanilla and sugar must and you know what i found so funny that i bought vanilla bean noel because of all the notes that i had it has like a ton of sweet delicious gourmand notes yet it doesn't smell like anything of those notes you know what vanilla bean at least for last year reminded me of like uh like a sour scent i don't know but every time i smell it i try to give it a try and like and it just smells sour sour and this one has like barely three notes and it smells like what i thought vanilla bean was gonna smell like so anyways joy is super sweet and warm and just like people want to give you a hug then i have christmas cookies this is really nice 
It smells like a buttery um, vanilla cookie. Definitely love this. Definitely will be repurchasing this. Repurchasing this? I definitely will be repurchasing. Repurchasing? How do you call it? How do you say it? <laughs> repurchasing? That sounds weird. You guys know that I literally cannot talk or my words get mixed up when like my brain doesn't connect them. I will definitely be buying this again. Um, it's really nice. So now let's move on to my Victoria's Secret ones. Oi, wait. <laughs> Dude, I swear I'm so destructive when I'm... Oh, I don't know. I swear. Anyways. If you saw my top, top, like, Victoria's Secret body mist, you probably will recognize some of these. But they're just, like, my babies. My everything. Let's just go ahead and start off with this one here. This one is Harvest Moon Gaze. And I did pick this up. Solely because somebody was saying that this smells like YSL Lee, but I don't know if it does, but I don't even care. This is a really pretty scent. This smells like a perfume. It is so pretty. Like, it's very fresh, but also floral. And floral by floral, I mean, it's just like, has a different, I don't know the notes specifically for this, but it's not, it doesn't smell like rose. It has some type of flower in here. It smells a bubbly, but I definitely love this, and I'm gonna get a good use out of this for springtime. Almond blossom and oat milk, dude. I love this scent so much. Like, I have a back above this because I love this so goddamn much. Definitely would recommend. Super sweet, but not like intoxicating. This is just a very heavy almond um, body mist, but I love it. I definitely love it. Definitely recommend it. My next one, without a doubt, you guys know, guess Bare Vanilla. Yes, ma'am. Bare Vanilla is one of my favorites. Um, look at where I'm at. I already got a backup because I know this is going to finish. It has cashmere vanilla and that's pretty much what all I smell. Cashmere vanilla, that's it. Straight to the point. Very lovely. It lasts long on me. On some people, it doesn't. Your body chemistry can change the, long, uh, the longevity of it. But on me, it does last a long time. That's why I really like this. And then, just to get it over with, since like I said, to me, they're just the same thing. Bare Vanilla Untamed is one of my favorites. This smells so damn good. And to me, this just smells like bare vanilla with like a, a hint of musk. It's so like more for nighttime. It's not your typical just vanilla cashmere. This has like a darkness to it that is just, but not too dark where it's like smelling spicy or anything. It's just really pretty. It's just more. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really pretty. Uh, the packaging is Gorgina. You know, I love Victoria's Secret packaging. I think they're so much cuter for display. But you know what I think about? Like, of course this is pretty, but I think it's the lids. I think the lids just... And also the way that this is humongous next to the Victoria's Secret one. Like, I feel like if Bath & Body Works would make smaller bottles, they would look so much cuter. I hate the plastic lids. Like, we need something like this. Um, I feel like the lids just... So let's just make it cute and the small bottles. These are literally both 8 fluid ounce, yet they have to add more. But anyways, enough of bashing. And you guys already know that I'm going to bring this in. She, again, is... This is her. This is her. This is um, Heavenly Summer. And I it hasn't gone down, girl, because I haven't used it. But I'm about to use it for summertime. Usually, I go reach for this for the summertime. Um it just it's so good she's the one she definitely is for me she does it i love this so goddamn much if you like citrusy fresh type of scents but like a very like strong type of citrus but not like if you're smelling a naranja like if you're cutting up an orange or nothing like that it's just it has bergamot in here bergamot is like citrusy zesty but it's so good Ugh. I love her. She's perfect. That's all I can say. My next, the most used one, I just want to do this quickly because there's not much to say, but it is Amber Romance. I do love using this during the, you know, like starting kind of October to November. Um, this is just warm, sensual, a little sweet. It's super, super nice. It's a classic. Um, I will always have a bottle of this in my collection, no matter what, just like Bare Vanilla because they're like one of those um, body mists that are, they're overused, but I really don't care. I just really like it 
for that type of weather. My next one for summertime again, I will be doing a, um, a summertime scents, but I'm trying to get a little more because I only have a couple for the summer. So since you guys have already seen most of these, I want to get like some new ones. But anyways, Marine Splash from Victoria. I did buy this blind buy. I think I just got this because the packaging is like, um, it's the beach. I love the, I love the beach. Like the way the beach scenery is just gorgeous. Um. I got this because it was around summertime and I wanted more summer scents at that time last year. And I fell in love with this. I honestly did. I didn't think I would. I've seen a lot of people give it bad reviews, but I love it, girl. I'm not going to sit here and just say that I like something because some people say it's so good. And in reality, I don't like it. Like, no, I will never lie. But like I said, you guys have to remember that these are things that I like. So you might not like, but I'm just like expressing my love for my body mist. So... This one is super fresh, super creamy, and just so good. I love it so much. <laughs> My next one is botched because I took the label off, but this is Victoria's Secret Scandalous. Girl, I absolutely love Scandalous. It is so delicious. It smells like, like a sexy daytime scent. Ugh, it smells so fresh like dead ass if I smell this on somebody else I would fall in love with it because it is so did I put too much damn contour girl trying to look snatched but look oh, okay, um it's so good it's that good I don't know what's going on with my hair but it's because I've been on my manier. I took a shower and my hair always gets like super puffy Anyways, yes, I love Scandalous. She is also her. She is it. She is that one girl. Definitely a really, really pretty um, scent. I I love her. Um, another one of my favorites, like I said before, and used a lot, is Bombshell Summer. This is like a really pretty um, orangey, sesty scent. I believe Grapefruit is in here, and it's just, it's really pretty. I definitely prefer this over... Um, como se llama? The one from Bath and Body Works. Dude, I forgot the name of it, but I'm gonna put a picture because I literally, like, my brain is, like, fart. I don't know, but, um, I definitely prefer this one over that, um, Body Mist, whatever I forgot its name of. Because I feel like this is more my type of tangerine or, like, zesty, whatever, um, type of scent. That one does smell really good, but it's more sweeter and this one is more fresh. So that's why I really like this one very very pretty wear it in the summer and my last one is this one lost in a daydream this has definitely made it to my top favorites it smells sweet but airy and just perfect I, it has crisp apple but like i don't smell apple that much but it definitely smells like a beautiful um shampoo i don't know it's really really nice i really really like this if you guys don't like the long ass videos let me know because i don't mind um splitting them up and creating like just bath and body works just victoria's secret um but i decided to do this one we'll see how it goes i also wanted to say that i'm gonna start putting um little inspirational quotes at the end of my video but it's a person's tiktok where they show like inspirational quotes and stuff like that and honestly i love seeing those I, sometimes they make me cry but like in a good way like it just gives me a lot of hope and stuff like that so if you're going through anything i hope that they can help you out so i will give her credit i'll put their tiktok um so anyways take care you guys and and I will see you guys soon.